name is Corvine Kelly, and you may be a family member of one that has mental illness. And I want to say to you at this time, one of the most important things in all of it is to let that loved one know that you love them. Treat them the same way as much as you can, because they can make it a little difficult. <laughs> but treat them as if they were someone with, let's say, diabetes or someone with high blood pressure or someone that had uh, a cancer. You know, you wouldn't brush them off to the side. Yeah, there may be times that you may feel embarrassed, but you need to overcome that. All of us have something in our lives that is an obstacle. I want you to know that you don't have to feel overwhelmed in the midst of this situation. And with myself, I'll say to you, it has taken a lot of prayer, a lot of strength. It has taken a lot of courage to work with someone that has a mental illness. So I just want to say to you today, and, for, and it's taken a lot of prayer, it's taken me being willing to seek out what type of resources were available and find out how or who could help. It took time. It took dedication. I had to be willing to go to to meetings and things, and there is a mental health outreach support group. So is NAMI, is different other things uh, that, that is out here for mental health outreach. But it can be made, the way can be made a little easier if you just realize you're not in this by yourself. Hello, my name is Corrine Kelly, and I want to say to you that it is important that you get help. It is important that you seek out help. This is not something that you can do by yourself. It can be very tedious, it can be very tiring, it can be very stressful, it can be very worrisome. Um, I'm just being honest and straight up with you, but in the midst of all that, you need the support, you need the strength of others, you need to be able to connect with others that have gone through with family members or with, with that person that you may be the one that had the mental illness. Um, there are resources for you out there. Why is it important? It's important that you may be able to know, you, you know, you, they need to be able to know, help you to recognize certain signs and how to work through certain parts, how to be able to make a, a decision of when you may have to get, oh, I'm sorry, right at the top of my head, I forgot what it's called, but when you have to go and get the um, um, emergency help for them. And, um, Get them, um, let's call it like it is, hospitalized for a few days because they may have, have had a setback and you don't know how to deal with it. And sometimes it can be a little hard because you feel like, but this is my loved one, I don't want to see them go that way. But you have to decide how important is your loved one to them. How important it is to see them to get the recover that time of, of uh, recovery. They may have to have their medicines um, altered, but you wouldn't know that. You just know the symptoms of what you're seeing. So I say to you, get help. Yes, it is very important. Overcome those challenges. First of all is admit that there is something going wrong, wrong with me. Mm -hmm. There's something that's not right. There's something that I need help for. If you had um, a, a, a cancer, a bloody nose, you would get help. So it's the same thing with having a, a severe and persistent mental illness or a mental illness. So I'm telling you that you can get help. It's getting better all the time. I'm Sister A.L. One of the questions that people ask is, what would I say to someone who has a mental illness or to a family member? Well, a couple of things. Number one, I would say it's not the end of the world. I know it may feel like it, but it's not the end of the world. Secondly, I would let you know that you are you're in the beginning of a journey, that it's important that you learn as much as you can about your mental illness. Number three, that you overcome, renounce those negative thoughts that you're going to have. It's natural to feel embarrassed. It's natural to feel shame or something is wrong with you. You have to not let those thoughts hold you back. You want to get help. Don't minimize what you're going through. There's help out there. When we look at mental illnesses, mental illnesses come about as a result of biological imbalances in the brain. We're talking about brain uh, illnesses. 
So this is not something that you should just shrug, or shrug off or think will go away. Get help. There's help out there. There's people who understand you, people who will love you, and people that you can talk to.